In this video, we will be introducing Verdi Interactive Debug, and the lab will be demonstrated using Verdi and VCS 2017.03. Verdi Interactive Debug is a technology that allows you to easily set up the simulation environment and run simulation interactively to debug system veloc test bench. What you're about to learn in this lab are how to enable interactive debug, the interactive simulation control and the various browsers and frames. Also are the fundamental techniques such as setting breakpoints, rebuild and restart simulation, and save and restore session. To enable interactive debug, we need to set the VCS home and Verdi home environment variables to the installation directories. Then compile and generate the simulation executable in the UFB flow by adding the KDB option. Finally, we start Verdi Interactive mode by simv verdi After these steps, Verdi is launched in Interactive mode and we can see the Interactive toolbar is enabled. Let's take a look at some of the simulation control. There is the Run simulation that start or continue the simulation. We may also specify a relative or absolute time. Stop simulation pauses the simulation and is enabled only when the simulation is running. Let's give it a try. There's also the next command that steps over tasks and functions. And step simulates the next executable line. The quit command stops the simulation. We can see different window frames here. We can use the class browser and object browser for viewing member data of class and dynamic objects. Double-click will sync the source code. The stack frame is for viewing the code stack and executed threads. Again, double-clicking syncs the source code. In the local frame, we see all variables of the current simulation scope when the current simulation scope belongs to a test bench scope or defined class object. We can use the middle mouse button to drag and drop an object to the watch plane. This is useful for observing the values of variables during simulation. Now, if we want the simulation to stop at a designated time or specific line of code, we can add different types of breakpoint using the Manage Breakpoint form located on the toolbar. The Manage Breakpoints form lists all current breakpoints, and it keeps the breakpoints with enabled or disabled status, so we can keep some breakpoints with disabled status temporarily and can enable the breakpoint later. We see there are various of types breakpoint types supported. For example, I want the simulation to stop at 5000 nanosecond, then I can go to time and choose absolute and specify 5000 nanosecond and hit on create. The breakpoint I just added will appear on the form. Now we can close the form and run the simulation. We can see the simulation has stopped at 5000 nanosecond, which is the breakpoint I just set. There are some cases where we want to modify a code and restart the simulation. How can we do that without executing Verdi? We can use the rebuild and restart form by going to simulation, rebuild and restart. We will use the custom script to rebuild. Click on Reload and KDB will be automatically loaded by Verdi. This is to avoid inconsistency between the design data based on the disk and the design in Verdi process. Restart Simulator to enter interactive mode after rebuild and click OK. We may choose whether to save the signals. Now we can see the simulation is at the very beginning. At some stage, we may want to save current debug session for later use or pass it among different users to debug. We can do so by saving and restoring the session. Go to File, Save Session. Specify a file name for the session and make sure the Save Simulation State box is checked to save current simulation status. And click on OK. Now the session is saved. Next time, when we start Verdi, we can go to File, Restore Session to restore the simulation status and GUI layouts we last saved. And that's the end of this lab. 
We have seen in this video how to enable interactive debug, how to use interactive simulation control and the different browsers and frames. Also, we've demoed how to set breakpoints, rebuild and restart simulation, and save and restore a session. Thank you for watching.